a good day to all of you today we are creating the 39th lesson in our microbit lesson series so let's begin first click on the plus mark at the top of the screen and open a new tab now type as www.makecode.com in the address bar and enter the make code website from here click on microbit now you are ready to start the project click on new project and give the name of the project as project 13a click on the create button here now you have entered the project today we will create a touch counter project using microcontrollers in this project numbers are displayed when you touch the microbit logo the forever code block is not needed for this so i right click on the forever code block and give delete blocks now we can create the code first let's create the variable called counter for this i click variables and click the make a variable button let's give the name of this variable as counter and click okay since the value of this variable needs to be zero at the beginning i drag a set counter to code block under variables into the on start code block let's keep the value here as zero Next when the logo is pressed the value of the counter variable should increase by 1 also it is necessary to display the counter here drag an on logo pressed code block under input now let's drag a change counter by one code block under variables into the on pressed code block drag a show number code block under basic again here let's connect the counter code block in variables to the show number code block Okay now we have finished creating the touch counter project you can click on the play button here and run the project in this way when you press the microbit logo the counter will be displayed also if you have a microbit device connect the device to your computer and run this project if you made it in this way you little ones are very talented good now let's go to the second part of the lesson i click on this back arrow again and go to the previous page of the website let's start a new project click on new project and name the project as project 13b click on the create button here now you have entered the project now we are going to create a sensory pet project we can now create the code for that since the forever code block is not needed for this i right click and give delete blocks like this first let's create the variable called timer for this i click variables and click make a variable button let's give the name of this variable as timer and click okay since the value of the variable needs to be 1 at the beginning i drag a set timer to code block under variables into the on start code block Here the value is changed as one. Next, when the logo is pressed, the value of the timer variable should increase by one. Also, an emoji related to the value of the timer variable needs to be displayed and a sound needs to be heard. I am going to drag an on logo pressed code block under input here. Now, drag a change timer by one code block under variables into the on logo pressed code block. Here I drag an if else code block in the logic. This code block needs to be created as if else if else if else. So, let's double click on the plus mark next to the else. Okay now. The if code block has been created as per our requirement. For the first condition here, I drag a code block with the equal sign under logic. Let's connect a timer code block under variables to the left side with the equal sign. and give 1 to the right side okay now when the value of the timer variable is 1 a sad emoji should be displayed and a sad sound should be played for that let's drag a show icon code block under basics here let's select the sad emoji for the icon again i drag a play sound giggle until done code block under music here click on the arrow in front of giggle and select sad sound okay Next for the second condition I drag the code block with an equal sign under logic. Let's connect a timer code block under variables to the left side of the equal sign and give 2 to the right side. Okay, now when the value of the timer variable is 2, the asleep emoji needs to be displayed and the yawn sound needs to be played. For that, 
Let's drag the show icon code block under basic here. Select the sleeping emoji for the icon. Again, drag a play sound giggle until done code block under music here. Click on the arrow in front of giggle and select the yawn sound. Next is the third condition. As before, drag a code block with the equal sign under logic. Let's connect a timer code block under variables to the left side of the equal sign and give 3 to the right side. OK. Now, when the value of the timer variable is 3, a skull emoji should be displayed and a mysterious sound should be played. For that, let's drag the show icon code block under basic here. Select the skull emoji for the icon. Again, drag a play sound giggle until done code block under music. Click on the arrow in front of giggle and select the mysterious sound. When the value of the timer is not 1, 2 or 3, it is necessary to change the value of the timer variable to 1 and a happy emoji will be displayed and a happy music will be played. I drag a set timer to 0 code block under variables into this else section. Let's drag the show icon code block under basic again. Select the happy emoji for the icon. Again, drag a play sound giggle until done code block under music here. Click the arrow in front of giggle and select the happy sound. OK. Now we have finished creating the sensory pet project. Let's click the play button. When the logo is pressed, the emoji corresponding to the value of the timer will be displayed and the sound will be played. You can play this game through a microbit device and watch the output. If you made it in this way, you little ones are very talented. If you want to share this project, click the second share button on the upper right side of the interface and click on the publish to share button here. Now you can copy and share this link. To see the creation you have made, WhatsApp it to the number note 7681252244. Tell your friends also about the creation you have made. Send it to me and also send it to your friends to see this app. And one more thing. You too can join the DP Coding School Telegram group and try to be the DP Code Champ Best of the Week once every week. For that, keep in touch with us. And one more thing, join our DP Coding Club and now you can start a DP Coding Club in your school as well. We are ready to give you all the guidance for that. If you want to start a DP Coding Club in any school with computer labs, Make a request to the principal to the email address info at dpcc.lk. So let's meet with another interesting lesson through DP Coding School. Have a nice day.